Hello friends, welcome. So here in this lecture, we're gonna post our or we're gonna generate debit note that is your in case of purchase return. So go to voucher screen, press here F10 for other vouchers, select debit note over here. Now I'm selecting here Veronica Private Limited. Select the screen as it is by pressing Control A. I'm taking my part uh, stock item that is Asian Pins. 10 numbers at the rate 760 each, then press here and this is our unregistered purchase. So I'm taking it 7600 for the GST details. You can press control I as I told you, select here your party name and go to GST tax analysis. Press Alt F1 over here. Now you can see IGST was imposed over here. So I am posting here. I am taking here IGST and here the amount comes. Now provide here, provide GST details, no and enter the screen. Now you can use advanced against reference as well or you can provide new reference also for the debit note. Now enter and accept your screen. Now, if I go back in my display more reports in your GST reports, your GST returns under statutory, that is GSTR2, press here, Alt F2, change here your date. I'm changing here the date. I'm taking the whole period and here under, you can see credit or debit note is not yet taken. But here, the credit and debit note for regular has been shown. That is 70, that is for 7,600. The tax amount has been deducted. So the total ITC available amount has also been reduced. So this is how you can post your debit note or purchase return entries in case you have applied GST in your purchase vouchers. Is this clear? If you want to see, uh, see the detailed information, click here, enter, press enter once again, and you can go to the voucher screen and you can make the edit addition or deletion from the voucher if you want to do. So this is clear. Now I hope you are clear with the debit note, the generation of debit note in Tally Prime.